Talk Nation, it's your boy. We back at it. Smash that like button on your way in. Update the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder is back at it versus Zeely Zang. Big bang, let's go. Greatness can come from anywhere. I draw inspiration from the Filipino people and to God in my family. Hard work is the most difficult things in boxing. Let's get into it. Tough fight for Frank Martin. The ghost may get busted. He is stepping into the ring with pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the sport of boxing today. But Tank Davis, been in jail, got out, was on house arrest, got back in the lab, got back right, got back focused mentally. That's the hot point. Did some positive things in the community. But Garante Tank Davis is a special talent. Shout out to Coach Kenny and all I'm Kyle. You know, I mean, they bought him up ever since he was a young boy to where he is at today. Tank has been loyal. He's had these guys around the whole time. And more importantly, one thing I respect about Tank, he's always shown respect to Adrian Brown. A lot of people turn their back on AB, but Tank always show love to Adrian Brown. Just like myself, man, a lot of people was like, you know what, he's washed up, he's done. Him versus Blair Cobbs, I think that's going to be a very charismatic, which we already see that it is. You see Blair Cobb showing up to the gym with dummies, you know what I'm saying? Like his Sesame Street. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, man. That's gonna be a great fight. And if Adrian Broner, Adrian the problem, Broner, Mr. About Business himself, if he shows up and let them hands go, it's gonna be a problem. Tank versus Frank is the fight. June 15th, PBC pay-per-view. Prime video, it's going down. Tank has been working on his footwork. He's already a very dynamic and explosive and athletic fighter. That's already out the gate. Now I see Tank working on that footwork, man. And both of these guys being southpaws, I think that's gonna be key. Who can get the better position? And Frank Martin already to run on record and said, you know what? I think they done effed up by taking a fight. That's saying a lot. That's really saying a lot. But see, if Frank Martin gets like Roley and gets too overconfident, trying to press Tank, he's gonna end up just like Roley did. He's gonna wind up walking into a shot and Tank has that kind of power that all it takes is one shot to hurt you, to the body or to the head. He can hurt Frank Martin. Frank Martin got 12 knockouts. Tank got 27 knockouts. 27. Tank got more knockouts than Frank Martin got fights. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, bro. But let's keep it 100. Although it may be a good fight, but you don't want to count anybody out. I still see Tank stopping Frank Martin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I got to keep it a buck. Always. I see Tank Davis possibly stopping Frank Martin, y'all. Tank got that kind of power, man. He got that kind of power. And more importantly, Tank seems like he's in a good space mentally. Seems happy. A lot of, you know what I'm saying, especially after the Ryan Garcia fight, made a lot of money. Yes, he got into the legal situation, got jammed up, but still, made a lot of money, got his mind right, was on house arrest, was able to think, get some things together, get some things in order, really look at his life, you know what I mean, from a bird's eye view, because sometimes you got to step back in order to move forward. And that's what Tank did. And I think Tank Davis now, the Tank we're going to see now, is focused. He's already a fantastic and phenomenal fighter. So I think we're probably going to see a more methodical Tank Davis come fight night. And a more methodical Tank Davis, in my opinion, is dangerous. It's very, very dangerous for Frank Martin. If Frank Martin tries to press Tank, he's going to wind up walking into something. But don't be surprised if Tank sets Frank Martin up, just like he did Roley. But Roley also helped Tank because he was trying to press him. He got locked, he got, he got careless, and that's how he got caught. That's how he got caught. If he'd afford a smarter fight, because a lot of people believe that Roley was probably up on the scorecards, believe it or not, in that fight. Yes, sir. That's what the people say. Some say different, but some say, you know what? Roley was winning. Okay. That just my point. You can be winning. You can be winning. You can be up. You can be up. The judges can have you up. The crowd can be behind you and all that. But all it takes is one shot. One shot. That's all it takes. And Tank got that kind of power. If he catch you clean, bop. You sleep or you hurt. And that can be the end of the night. You know what I'm saying? Pack your bags. Make sure your plane ticket is ready. 
Call the maid to clean out the hotel room. Time to go home. That's it. Everybody pack your bags. That's it. It can happen that quick when you step into the ring with Revite Tank Davis. David Benavidez versus Gavastic. This is going to be a super explosive fight. Benavidez moving up the light heavy. And I think 175 looks good on David Benavidez, man. He looks he looks fresh. I mean, Gavastic is a, don't get me wrong, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. But he's 37 years old. Benavidez is 27 years old. And Benavidez throws a lot of punches. And it's not just he's a volume puncher. Benavidez is an accurate puncher. And he has power. He has speed. So he's going to put some things together. You see Roy Jones teaching him how to do that step over with left hook. Let me tell y'all something, man. David Benavidez is a very, very talented fighter. Why do you think Canelo Alvarez won 200 million to step into the ring with this young lion? Shout out to Mike Tyson, deeming him and nicknaming him the Mexican monster. Even though Noya Inoue is the monster. Shout out to Inoue, by the way. Pound for pound, one of the top three pound for pound fighters in the world. In the world, besides Terrence Bar Crawford and Alexander Usyk. Shout out to all those guys. Put some respect on their name. But let me tell y'all something, man. Benavidez, if he is successful in this fight, which skill level, youth, tenacity, I'm really giving David Benavidez the edge. He throws too many punches, he goes to the body well, and he has good movement. He has good movement, good range, good length and height. I mean, Gavazic, he does some he does some things very well. He's a good fighter. Even though he's the older competitor, he does things well. We're not gonna knock him at all. But I have to give David Benavidez the edge, the youth, the skill, the power. It's just, it's just all in David Benavidez's favor, y'all. It really is. And I believe if he is successful in this fight, shout out to Dimitri Bivol. Him and the Better BF fight did get pushed back due to injury that Better BF sustained. So the fight got pushed back a bit. But when those two guys go at it, that's going to be super explosive, high octane, a phenomenal, phenomenal matchup. And let's just say B-Ball wins. Because in my opinion, that's a 50-50 fight. Yes, Better BF is a knockout destroyer. Yes, he is. But I will never disrespect Dimitri Bivol and say that somebody's going to go in there and wash him or knock him out. Negative. People crazy. I mean, great puncher, excellent at utilizing his range, has pop, he has IQ, great footwork and defense, great punch output, and he mixes his shots up well. Bivol versus Benavidez, he, that even has a nice ring to it. I think that'd be a great matchup, y'all. A great matchup. I talk nature stand up is your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you already know how I play. Share the truth. Fatality. Fatality.